What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, MVP Amazing. And yes, sir. We got a new video, man. We got a new video. And I, my title is No Cap. There is no cap in my rap. There is no cap in my rap. I truly, and I truly, truly believe that a lockdown is the most impactful position in this game. And I think it's the most important position in this game. And I truly believe that, okay? And let me tell you why, okay? I mean, let me tell you why, okay? Well, first of all, I'm rocking with the two-way shot creator. This is not even a perimeter lockdown. This is a two-way build. And let me uh, pull up my attributes. You know what I'm saying? Some light, 84 perimeter defense, 84. You know what I'm saying? It's not the best, like, because actual perimeter locks, this is, for them, it's like 88, 87. So, um, it's not the best defensive build, but I do like it just because I get to dribble with 81 ball hand. So that's why I did that. That's why I went with this route and with my defensive badges. Uh, we'll start with defense first. Um, one underrated thing, one underrated um, badge that I feel like people are sleeping on is this badge called defensive leader. Because your center is so much more deadly when you have this badge for him. And he can he can help you a lot with the backside defense. But you know, nothing, nothing crazy, the usual pick the other pickpocket. Um, I'll pull these other ones up, but that's not the main focus of the video, I guess. But, um, anyways, I, um, anyways, um, let's get to the video. In this video that I'm going to be showing y'all, I'm going to be showing y'all, like, a couple clips of why I think the lockdown is just so important. I think it's the best, I honestly think it's the best, um, the most important position on a team okay I, and i'll tell you why as the video plays on but anyways man like the video up subscribe if you're new and check out my um the descriptions down below i have all the links to my social and i also would like if you're also new man join my discord i have the most lydia's discord in the 2k community and that's not cap okay so join up on the discord you know what i'm saying I like to I like to meet y'all if y'all new to my my YouTube. But anyways, man, let's get started. All right, let's get started in this video. Okay, so I know a lot of y'all like, man, amazing. There's no way you're gonna tell me the lock is the most important position in 2K. All they do is sit corner. Hey, yo, that snatch block though. Oh my god, that was devious, man. The chat. The whole party chat was going crazy but let's get back into it so like i said i know a lot of you're like man all they do is sit corner how are you going to tell me feel the most important position all right but now nah, check this out okay here are my reasoning some guards need one stop only some guards need two stops some guards needs three stops and my guard he needs like Mm, like 25 stops as a lock it it's your job to get the stops that your guard needs now now in this video oh my goodness you're going to see some top notch crumbling oh my goodness some top notch grumble crumbling i can't even talk today but crumbling all right so let's get started in this clip i get the steal Hit my center up, he dunks the ball. Boom, 10 points right there. And that, that brings me to my next point about why I think lock is the most important because you you get the ability to create offense as you get stops. Because you're gonna see a pattern in this video. Boom, another stop. Boom, my center gets the board. He hits me, I dunk the ball. You, 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 see, you see the pattern here? You see it? You see what I'm saying, bro? Like you play good defense, man. You just box the other guard up, man. You're gonna win 90% of your games, man. As you can see, this guard that I'm, I'm boxing up, he's cold. He's having a, he's having a tough time, and, and I will preface to say another stop. I will preface to say that this was a party. It was a series, and we won in six games. And I swear to you, man, my guard is absolutely 
garbage. Man, he'll tell you that too. That's my man's. He's absolutely garbage. And we still won. So that tells you that you don't need a good guard to win like a series or games. As long as, long as you have good defense and, you know, good defense, especially. Another stop. Get back in cold, my boy. Another stop. That's what I was trying to tell y'all, man. This is what this is what I'm trying to tell y'all is that essentially like how we won this series I, I promise you bro we won based off we won based off our, ugh, can't even talk but we won <laughs> my fault man we won based off stops and fast breaks I promise you man we did not do anything special I swear to God bro we won off of stops and fast breaks as you can see he's cold again and um which brings me to my next point is as a lock man you get to like mentally just the, the morale of the team you just destroy the other team's morale and i do also want to credit my center um he did put in work on the back side like he, he had really good and that's what i'm trying to say man like because the guard controls the offense and once you take the source their entire offensive source away man you get to destroy a team's morale like I wasn't in the other team's party chat, obviously, but I could tell, man, they were just yelling at this kid, like, yo, what's going on, man? Like, especially because I know MVP sound, he's probably so mad, and, and that even, that adds in, like, it, it doesn't help when your, your entire teammates are just yelling, look at this, bro, he made that? Oh my god, he made that, but like I said, man, it does not help, especially when your other teammates are yelling at you, your own teammates are yelling at you, and that that could help in you winning games because every everything is just chaotic but as you can see it's 16 to 12 you know I, I get a nice nice oop there 18 to 12 and I, like the whole totality of this of this like um video is just to show you that like as a lock man you're so impactful like i have two assists and i think i um i have two assists another stop but I have two points and two assists, so that's like a six-point swing. Another assist, three assists, two points. That's six points and assists, and I scored. So I, I, I attributed to eight points in my um as a team. And look, bro, it just stops for days, man. It just stops for days, and I don't know what I don't know what that happened. But as you can see, man, we're <laughs> we're a different team, man. I'm not even gonna lie, because when we get the stops. We out, man. We out. We running. We get them fast break points. I, I do know a lot of comp teams, you know, they like to slow it down. But my, my guard's not built like that. So I told my team, yo, bro, once we get the stops, we out. And like I swear to y'all, man, we, we won. We, we were up 3-0 at some point. And it was just like stops, fast breaks, stops, fast breaks, stops, fast breaks, stops, fast breaks. Like my guard, really, he didn't do much. The whole, the whole, like, look it. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I told you, man. I already know my team. I'm. We need like ten stops for us to win. Cause my guard, you know, what I'm saying, like, like I said, he is my man's, but he's not the best. You know, what I'm saying, as you can see, we um we forced the guard to a five for ten shooting. He had three turnovers. I had three steals, and that's like, that's what I'm saying. As a as a lock, you do things like this. But I, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all like. If y'all liked what y'all see, man, like the video up, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.